Hello friends, it's Jakar here again with another video and today I'm going to be talking about my most worn handbags in 2019. Now if you hear some noises in the background, it's probably my dogs moving around. <laughs> I have a big dog and he kind of clunks around on the floor. Anyway, if you're new here, hi, my name is Jakara. This is Jakara Camp Style where we talk about everything style related, lifestyle, travel, fashion. Without further ado, let's get started. The first group, I'm going to do some groups. So the first group I'm going to talk about are my least expensive handbags. My least expensive ones, the ones that I um, picked up at Topshop or um, H&M or, you know, just some retail store that I saw that I really liked something, Forever 21. And... Uh, Surprisingly though, these are probably my most worn handbags because they tend to be a little bit more uh, different than my regular handbags. They have a different finish or a different um, style to them and I only have one of them. So I use that one quite frequently. As an example, let me get started. Um, I'm going to talk about this bag. This is a silver beaded bag that I got from, I believe, from Topshop. Yeah, from Topshop. I wear this all the time. I'm probably going to wear it today with this outfit I have on today. Um, I tend to wear it with my neutrals like grays and whites, blues. And so I get a lot of compliments on this bag. I think it only cost me like $50 or something. But um, I get a great cost per wear out of this out of this uh, bag. It, it doesn't hold a whole lot. I mean, I could put my um my little card holder and my asthma pump and my glasses in here and maybe a couple other items but I, it's not to be you know loaded down with things so yeah this is probably an mvp of the whole bunch because i wear this a lot and it's my only silver bag by the way it's my only silver bag so that's why i wear it a lot um i am working on another silver bag so hopefully soon i will have that one anyway going on let's see yes 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 here's another bag also i think i spent like i bought this at forever 21 and i think i bought it for 20 dollars it's, it's got a strap on the inside. I, I just leave all my straps on the inside of the bag. <laughs> I don't even use them unless I absolutely have to. But I prefer a handle as I mentioned. And it's got this cute little bamboo uh, handle. It's faux bamboo of course. But at least it looks faux bamboo. It might be real but I doubt it. And uh, a little bamboo twist here. And I love the color. I love the shape of it. I do wear um, this color green or tealish green a lot. So uh, especially in the winter time, this is more of like a winter tealish green. So I wear this. I do have, no, I, I think this is the only bag I have of this color. I'm pretty sure this is the only one. Yeah. So that's another reason why I use it a lot <laughs> because I wear this color a lot and I like to match my outfits with my handbag so that's number two let's see as far as inexpensive handbags okay now out of all of my bags this one i i am pretty sure this is the most worn handbag and that is my beaded handbag from zara <laughs> i got this ooh, about three years ago maybe three years ago I wear it a lot it's very easy to just throw things in there it does have a little um, snap on the inside but I don't think there's anything and there's some paper in there but <laughs> it's easy to just kind of throw things in the top and then I don't even really close it I just let it stay open and I just carry it like this and yeah it goes with of course it's black so you know, you are black with almost every outfit, right? <laughs> and I do have other black bags, but this one is just so 
easy and I get a lot of compliments on this one. I, I really do and I love it. I, I'm so glad I bought it. I think I may have spent maybe $40 on it. Maybe. I don't remember. I don't remember what so long ago but the cost per wear on this is out of this world. Like surpasses everything else I have. <laughs> Anyway, let's see who should be next. Who shall be next? Um, okay. This bag from Aldo. I have this bag. Uh, I have a lot of Aldo bags that are in this style. It's, of course, has the top handle, which I absolutely require. It's got this, it's kind of like a faux Sylvie, Gucci Sylvie. Um, design it's you know kind of reminds you of the Sylvie from Gucci but um, it's obviously not Gucci price <laughs> and in fact I think I have let's see I think I have five of this style of bag because of course it's in a structured form which is I like structured bags the most uh, like top handles it does have a strap that I keep on the inside and it's so roomy oh my gosh look at well there's comes with a little scarf to wear with it but I don't ever put the scarf on but um so roomy inside I mean you can pack a lot of stuff in here <laughs> I, I don't I usually have room to spare when when I uh use this bag it has a zipper in the back zipper pocket in the back and then there's a couple of like slide pockets in the front so yeah yeah i love these bags i think i usually get them when they're on sale so i probably spend maybe like twenty dollars thirty dollars at most for this style of aldo bag and i think i've had this one for a couple years now and I have no intentions of getting rid of it because it goes with any, obviously it's good with red and black and, and uh, cream. So whenever I wear that color combination, this is the bag I grab and it's got the gold hardware as well. So it's really cute. <laughs> anyway, let's see who's next here. Who shall be next? Uh, I'm going to talk about this bag because... Um, it was a gift to me and I have no idea what brand it is. It is kind of like a no-name bag. It was given to me by a friend. Uh, yeah, and it reminds me of like <laughs> your grandma's purse, right? It's a grandma purse. I love it. I just, of course, it has my requirements of a top handle. But uh, it doesn't have, a, it doesn't come with a strap or anything like that, a cross strap, a cross body strap. But there's lots of room inside. There's a zipper pocket in the middle. And there's a couple slide pockets on the sides, in the front and in the back. So yeah, lots of room, <laughs> uh, which is nice to have in a handbag, but it's not like super heavy. The leather is really good, really good quality, as you can see. No scratches or anything, and I don't know how old this bag is because it was gifted to me, um, but I know I've had it for at least, oh gosh, 10 years probably, if not more than that. I love it. I love this bag. <laughs> <laughs> and also, it's the only black bag I have with silver hardware on it. All my other black bags have gold hardware. So, yeah. That's that one. Okay. Now, let's start to go into the more pricey uh, items, pricier items. We're going to call this mid-level range, right? Everything else I showed you was like high street range. This is going to be the mid-level range. And we're going to start with this beauty right here. This is the Whitney from Michael Kors. It is my only Whitney. I do want to get a couple more because <laughs> I it comes as a long strap with a gold chain. And I'll show you that in a minute. But I shorten it to just this little short strap. But the way I get the uh, the short strap is... I take the chain and I just put a little hair tie on it and then I just wrap it down and then I stuff it in the purse like that and then I can carry it as a top handle bag and it stays like that and I love it like this. I love the gold hardware but I don't want all that chain right? I don't want all that chain. So um, 
one of the good things on the back other than the gold beautiful gold hardware it has a pocket in the back I usually stuff my my phone back here just slide it <laughs> in the back <laughs> as I'm carrying it easy to inconvenient to grab out it has a metal zipper pocket here it has a big compartment in the back and a big compartment in the front so yeah I like these Whitney bags from Michael Kors I as you're gonna see in a minute I have a lot of Michael Kors bags <laughs> I can't help it <laughs> you guys it's a sickness <laughs> but there's such good bags there's such good bags and you know for the price that you pay for them and the quality of the leather and everything I think it's totally worth it so that's the Whitney uh, speaking of Michael Kors here's another one of my Michael Kors bags now I have two versions of this and there's some junk in there this is the Sama bag from, it's the small Sama from uh, Michael Kors. So, so before I was really interrupted by my battery dying, <laughs> this is the Sama bag. I have it in a millennial pink color. Um, it, this is the small size. It, it's basically like one big compartment on the inside. Uh, there is a small uh, pouch in the back. And then um, a couple of, well, this is a zipper pocket in the back. And then there's a couple of slide pockets in the front. And I got some mail in here and some, mm, rum, some garbage in here that I need to get rid of. But yeah, I usually like to wear it in the spring with uh, this like little scarf to wear with it. I think that's really cute, right? Just wrap it around, tie a little bow and yeah so this is my usually my spring bag but I do wear this color a lot in the spring so this is why I, this bag is so <laughs> popular anyway um we'll stick with Michael Kors and I'm gonna bring out my quadruple threat here <sighs> hey friends don't adjust your screen yes this is a different day. <laughs> when I was editing this video, I found out that half my footage was gone. So, guess what? A new day, new footage. <laughs> anyway, to continue what I was talking about before, uh, we will talk about my trifecta of bags, which are these Michael Kors bags. They're Mercer bags from Michael Kors. They're not um, made anymore, unfortunately. Um, but I think these are some of the best bags ever. Uh, I would say I wish I, I could have gotten a silver one because I got the gold one and I love it. I wear it all the time. However, they, they stopped making them before I could go get the silver bag. I do wear this blue, electric blue color sometimes during the winter time, but mostly in the spring and summer. Um, and then this red bag has gold hardware, which I like. And uh, as you can see, each of these bags have two main compartments and then a middle uh, zipper compartment here. So they're very useful. I wear them all the time. I can just usually just stuff my things in there and be done. They all come with a, um, I guess, crossbody strap, which of course I never use. <laughs> and um, the most used one of all of them, I think is probably this white bag because I didn't have a white bag with silver hardware. So I'm trying to get the light here. <laughs> it was silver hardware. So I wanted, I don't have any other white bags actually. This is the only white bag I have and I, it has come in so handy. Uh, I love the silver hardware on it. It's just a little bit of silver, not a whole lot. Um, again, the same thing in the inside it does have a little slot for like your cards and stuff here, but I never use that. Um, it's actually held up pretty well. The handles a little worn, you know, just from the oils in my hands and the dirt on my hands. So I probably need to, um, 
polish that up with some white polish and clean it up a little bit um, but this is probably my most worn Mercer because I do wear a lot of white I wear it in the summer and the spring the fall I don't care I always wear white obviously I'm wearing white today so this would go good with the outfit I have on today so yeah good bag and and it's very durable it's like this I don't know if this Safiana leather I'm not really sure what it's called but very good bag um, very good sturdy bag I like a sturdy structured bag <laughs> and it's not too big either it kind of reminds me of the Lady Dior a little bit the handles obviously are different and it's way less <laughs> than a Lady Dior okay you guys rounding out the mid-level range of bags is my Kate Spade bag. This is in a nylon finish. It has a little bit of a scuff there. But um, otherwise, I love this bag. Again, I love a structure bag. Um, I love the red detail on the top. This uh, bag is uh, also another just kind of open compartment. But it also has uh, a zipper pocket in the back. And then, I don't know if you can see these little slide pockets in the front. I never use those again. <laughs> Why add, you know, more um, confusion to your life by putting things in little pockets. But anyway, um, I bought this because I needed a navy bag. I did not have a navy bag in my wardrobe. And this was the perfect bag for me um it didn't break the bank if i think i got it on sale even <laughs> but i wear this bag all the time um not only is it roomy it's comfortable to hold it does have a, a cross body strap as most of my bags do but i was just you know of course where is the top handle um but I wear navy a lot so and I wear navy and red a lot I, I like that kind of military style um, dress so yeah this is a perfect bag for me I might get another one in a in a leather version of it without the red straps so we'll see I'm looking out for another navy bag because I feel like I might need one <laughs> Or no, let's let's be honest. I just want one. <laughs> let's get into our high-end bags or the designer bags that I wear the most. Um, I do have other designer bags, but I usually use those for special occasions or just a specific outfit. Please excuse my dogs in the background, you guys. They're playing with toys and all that kind of stuff. So just ignore the extra noise. Anyway. So I don't wear all of my designer bags regularly. There are some that I, I do wear more frequently. And we'll start with, as I mentioned, Dior. And you're probably gonna know what I'm gonna show you. <laughs> it's the Dior saddle bag. Um, I was lucky enough to find this bag discounted on eBay Authenticate right before they relaunched it. So this is a vintage bag. It is just a single compartment on the inside. It doesn't really hold much, but I love it. Um, it does have like a nylon finish on it. I'm not sure what size it is because the old sizes are a little different than the new sizes. I guess this would be comparable to maybe the medium size, maybe? I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, on the back, uh, I've shown this before, but there's a pocket on the back. I usually put my my phone in here as a top handle strap now this extra strap I bought on my trip to Paris last year um, I went to I wanted to get something from the Dior boutique uh, in Paris and so and I knew I wanted to get a strap for my bag <laughs> now these came out um, more recently these weren't part of the original um, saddlebag collection when they first launched but when they relaunched it they had these handles that come up with um these uh guitar strap like straps um i love this strap because it has such beautiful detail i don't know if you can see these like metal silver metal kind of 
little application and then the embroidery. I know my, my camera's probably not going to pick it up very well, but yeah. I don't know if you can see it. The embroidery is beautiful. It's it's really, a, truly a, a work of art. I love it. And then the inside of it, I don't know if you can see, it says Christian Dior. It's also embroidered on the inside, Paris, Christian Dior Paris. Um, I just love this bag because I love the strap. And I just love the shape of the bag. <laughs> so I wear it a lot. <laughs> I really do. It's my uh, one of my other bags that has the silver hardware with it. But even though the strap has gold, I don't I don't mind mixing metals too much. But yeah, I wear it a lot. <laughs> now let's talk about Gucci. Gucci Gucci. <laughs> um I am a Gucci fan. I have bought a few bags from Gucci and a few items from Gucci. Um, I know they've recently come, come under some criticism, but um, hopefully that will, you know, settle down and they, they will learn from their mistakes. But the first bag I bought from Gucci was this bag. And I don't know how to say it properly, so please, please don't massacre me in the comments. It's the Montalisi bag, is what I think it's called. <laughs> it's just a single single little opener here. It's just a, I'm not going to take the air paper out, but um, I like to wear it more as a top handle. It has a little um, pocket in the back. Uh, I stuck stuff the chain on the inside, and I use this as a handle. Um... A lot of times I will wear it, I'll put my hand in here and wear it as a clutch, you know, like this or this or here, like that. <laughs> I love this bag. It's in the small size. Uh, I, I love this heart detail. I know this bag was like the hot thing at one point and then uh, people kind of just abandoned it, but I still love it. Here's the thing, you guys. I feel like if you want to invest in a bag, you should. And it shouldn't matter whether it's in style or out of style, popular, unpopular. If you like it, get it. And just because it isn't worn, you know, as much anymore, isn't as trendy anymore, doesn't mean that you can't still wear it. I mean, I spent a lot of money for this bag. I am wearing this bag, okay? <laughs> I don't care if it's not in style. <laughs> I love it. So I'm wearing it. I spend money on it. Anyway, <laughs> I'll get off my soapbox. Anyway, so the next Gucci I want to talk about is this bag. This is the, this is a vintage bag. I also got this off of eBay Authenticate for a really good deal. Uh, these bags, I think brand new are in the, yeah, I don't know. I want to say like... 1200 13 it might even be higher up than $1,500, but I did not spend that, okay? <laughs> I got it for a good steal. Um, it's in the Ophidia um, style, but this is a vintage bag, so this is the original, I guess, Ophidia style that they had um, with the monogram GGs, and it's got a little GG here, and then... Um, the banner, the red and green banner that comes with most Gucci products. So on the inside, this is called the Boston bag, by the way. And on the inside, I have air paper, but it's just a pretty big open spot. I think it has, yeah, it has a zipper at the back. I never use that. Cause I feel like things get lost in the zipper pocket and I just, I don't have time to be fishing around looking for my stuff. So I just dump everything in the main compartment, but a very sturdy bag, very well made. I believe this is from like the early eighties. I'm pretty sure it's from like the early eighties. So I'm so glad I got it for the price that I got it. And I actually got it right before they relaunched their Ophidia uh, style bag. And so without my even knowing that I was going to be in style. <laughs> but I didn't buy it for that. I bought it because I thought it was beautiful. <laughs> so, but I use it a lot. I, I wear it mostly with like my neutrals, my creams, browns, um, 
I guess you can even wear it with red and green if you wanted to as well. So that's my Gucci Ophidia <laughs> bag, Boston bag. And then the last set of high-end bags I want to talk about are from my favorite brand, which is Louis Vuitton. Like if I could afford to wear any designer from head to toe, it would be Louis Vuitton. And <laughs> Starting out with that is my Speedy in the size 25. I love the size 25. It's big enough to hold everything I need, but small enough not to be overwhelming. I love this call. I think it's called Kenyan. Oh gosh, I forget Kenyan Tan or I can't. I can't remember exactly, but it's in the Epi leather, which is that durable embossed leather um, on the inside. It has just a huge compartment. You can see the air paper in there. Um, inside, here I'll take the air paper out. Just so you can see. Okay, there's still a little bit more in there, but if you can see, it's just one big compartment. I don't know if you've ever seen a Speedy, that's what they all have. And then it's got this little bitty compartment. This is how you know it's more vintage, because it has this little compartment on the side it's kind of a little pocket that again I don't use I don't have time for that looking for stuff in that little pocket <laughs> anyway that bag I I wear this bag mostly with like uh, warm colors neutrals that are creams and whites um, I can wear it with black too, but I have a pair of boots that match this color bag, and I wear these that in combination with this bag a lot, so it's very well worn. <laughs> and I and uh, again, I got this off of eBay Authenticate um, at least two, three years ago. I can't remember exactly, but it was totally worth the value that I spent. The money that I spent on it and I wear it all the time I don't mind a vintage bag I in fact I prefer a vintage bag to be honest with you <laughs> they're more uh, or I should say better well made and um, better made that's the correct term <laughs> they're better made and um, I don't know they, they've shown that they last the test of time right and in that vein I had another one that I got from eBay authenticate as well this is obviously in a vibrant green color um, same finish the epi leather which is my favorite finish of a Louis Vuitton um, bag and this one I don't remember the exact color name I'm sorry you guys I know it's the same issue on the inside with this big space and the little bitty baby pocket that I never use. Um, but I wear a lot of green. I wear a lot of vibrant colors. So I'm glad that I got this bag. It, I mean, when I bought it, it's used, as I mentioned. Um, it didn't have hardly any sign of wear and tear maybe just a little bit on the on the handles but nobody ever really sees that because you have your hand around the handles and then you can also wrap it with a bandeau or a scarf so it can uh, protect the finish of the bag so love my speedies in fact i have a couple other surprises coming soon i'll show you my new bags that i've gotten <laughs> this time from a different source and speaking of that source, I bought this bag about a year ago um, from my new favorite source for bags, which is Fashion File. Uh, this is the Alma Baby in the Rose Ballerine color. Now, this color I know because <laughs> this is my favorite color from Louis Vuitton's uh, products. Um, it has silver hardware, which... I mean, you can barely see it, but it's like the, the lock is silver and the clochette. The clochette here has an M on it, which is one of my initials. Uh, so I thought that was faded. Like, I was faded to have this bag. It's my favorite color, my favorite finish. I've always wanted an Alma, and an Alma BB is the right size. So I, I call her my little princess. <laughs> And my little princess got a little bandeau to a Louis Vuitton uh, bandeau. 
sorry about that. <laughs> a Louis Vuitton bandeau. And yeah, I wear her a lot because I wear pink a lot. In fact, I could even wear it today with these neutrals I have on this white and gray. And because the, the scarf is kind of pink, white and gray. So yeah, I love this bag so much. So, so much. Anyway, you guys, that's it. That's my collection the things that i wore most in 2019 or the handbags i wore most i should say i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give me a thumbs up if you like content like this come on back see another video there'll be another one suggested here soon <laughs> but i would love to have you back for my next video you can hit the subscribe button if you like this kind of content and then don't forget the no notification bell as well so that you know when I upload a new video and I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are I will see you in the next video and until then take care <laughs>